Hey, hey, my math party people, welcome back. So we have these two quantities, uh, these two very large products between two very large numbers, and we wanna compare their quantities. If one's greater than the other, they're equal to each other, or we just can't determine the relationship with the information given. The answer here is quantity A is greater. So here's the thing. On your calculator, you may not have enough space to actually multiply them together. And that's the point of the problem. We want to be able to understand which one will be greater without actually solving it. So here's how we're gonna do this. With quantity A, what, here's what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna give a small example first and then lead into what I'm gonna show you. So let's go ahead and suppose that we have 20 multiplied by, let's say two or let's say 300. Here's how we do this. We will multiply the two and the three together and then the six is there. But then with the zeros, what we do is we just add up all the zeros. So we have three zeros. So it'll be 6,000, just like that. And so that's the technique that we'll use. We'll just multiply the whole numbers together, those first digits, and then rack up all of the zeros. So what we're gonna see here is for quantity A, we have four and nine. So four times nine will give us 36. And then how many zeros do we have? Three, six, seven, eight over there. So we have eight zeros here, and then three, six, seven there. Eight and seven makes 15 <laughs> zeros. That is a lot. So we will tack on 15 zeros, or you can just write 15 zeros if you would like to. Again, you don't have to write them all out. This is the point of the test. You don't want to use unnecessary time. So over here, we have 25 and one, so that'll be 25. And then how many zeros? Three, six, nine, 12, 13. So we have 13 zeros. So think about it. If we have 13 zeros and 15 zeros, quantity A is gonna be larger because you're gonna have way more zeros. Your number's gonna be way, way bigger. So again, back to that simple example, if we had a four with three zeros, that'll be bigger than a two with one zero. For, cause, because this would be four, zero, 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 4,000, and this will be two, zero. So again, the more zeros you have, the bigger the number is, especially given that they're both in the tens anyway. So with that said, quantity A is greater. Remember that we don't always have to compute the entire operation. See you in the next question.